Good evening. Praise and always give an honor to God, to Pastor Smith, for allowing us to come to give the encouraging word. I pray that it would encourage us all. The word is going to be coming out of Lamentations 324, and it reads as follows. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to bring this word. Pray, O oh God, that you will forgive us if we don't have said anything not pleasing your sight. Open our ears that we might hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, love you, praise you, give you glory, praise, and honor. Jesus, saying we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The theme is hope in God. What is hope? According to the Holman Bible Dictionary, hope is trustful expectation, particularly with reference to the fulfillment of God's promises. Biblical hope is the anticipation of a favorable outcome under God's guidance. More specifically, hope is the confidence that what God has done for us in the past guarantees our participation in what God will do in the future. This contrasts to the world's definition of hope as a feeling that what is wanted will happen. We have put our hope in the wrong places, such as homes, cars, jobs, spouses, doctors, money, and whatever else we could put our hope in. But don't you see our homes catch fire, cars get totaled, jobs shut down, people have to go into savings, spouses divorce, stock market crashes, people lose mon money, we get sick, we need a healing, doctors cannot heal us, they give their diagnosis. We can no longer put our confidence, trust, dependence on man. We have to put our trust in the Lord according to Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not into thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. There is now nowhere to look to. The psalmist said in Psalm 121, 1 and 2, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. In times like these, we must look unto Jesus, Hebrews 12, 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, the one who can make all sufficiency abound toward us. And God is able, in 1 Corinthians 9, 8, to make all grace abound toward you, that you will always have all sufficiency, and all things may abound to every good word. The one who can keep us in perfect peace, according to Isaiah 26, 3 and 4, that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because we trust in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. In the book of Lamentation, Jeremiah wrote in chapter 324, the Lord was his portion, so he was going to hope in him. Think about it when you eat your meals. You have different portions. This is what you have chosen to eat for the day. It was your portion. Well, Jeremiah says the Lord was his portion, his inheritance. He said, my hope is in him. In order to be your portion and for your hope to be in God, you must accept his son, Jesus Christ. In Romans 10, 9, 10, that if thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Lord is the only one who can bring us through any trial, any tribulation, the loss of a loved one. We have to look to the all-wise God who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy in Jude 24. Look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hope in God. In Jesus' name, amen.